driveway. Smell something. These are the ones that usually fool you first. Oh, rain's on the way. some ponds and maybe some snapping turtles. There are snapping turtles here now. I'd love to see one. Totally invasive, just like frogs. Maybe one over there, and one over here. You guys are right in the nutrient trail. Whee! 
There's a Nutria right there. Look at that Nutria. <laughs> It's almost time to go camping again. Yeah, camping's fun. Building fires is fun. There you go, little buddy. How was your first swim? Eating all the deer's food. Poor deer's. And the deer's come in and they just like watch the turkeys eat it. They won't go and get their food. All right. I think I decided what we're going to do is let's have let's make stroganoff with wild goose and wild mushrooms. Last year we had a pretty good haul. So, oh my gosh. it's almost mushroom season again, so we might as well use last year's mushrooms, right? These are vacuum sealed morels. So you gotta reconstitute them. Let them soak for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. It's pretty rich, you don't need a whole lot. But what the heck, might as well throw in a few extra, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, if we're going to start collecting fresh ones any time, let's use last year's. Yep, let's use them up. <laughs> we'll soak these for a little while, and this will make a really good mushroom broth. Yeah. And then, uh, like I said, oh, let me show you what else I got. Let's see if I can find some more. <clears throat> this is what happens to geese around here. These are canned geese. They're very tender after you can them. Uh, and they got a good broth to them, too, so... I think we'll use these and that, and we'll get some other ingredients, and we'll make ourselves goose stroganoff. Why the heck not? That sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. that stroganoff ain't stroganoff with some fre without fresh cracked black. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I do the mortar and pestle. I don't have a spice grinder. I like multi tools. Stuff. I don't. You know. What am I gonna? <laughs> One of the good things about reconstituting them is if you carefully lift them out and give them a little shake, any leftover sand and everything will go to the bottom in the water. Just try not to dig the bottom too hard. Chopping morels, chopping morels. <laughs> The grit's on the bottom. You want to save this mushroom broth, but don't use that stuff on the bottom. It's got all the sand and stuff in there. We'll put that right in our pan, and that'll be what we start everything with. Look at all the sand right there. Mm. That's not good. Got some noodle water boiling. Got some mushroom broth going with mushrooms in it. Let's give it a rough chop. So what is that, Eli? This is canned goose. When you shoot a whole bunch of geese and you can't get to all of them, just can them up. And that makes the meat super good and accessible later. 
It's already tenderized. Yeah, it's got it's a really good broth that comes with it. And goose. Number one spice for this dish for me. Just a little black pepper. We'll let that come to a boil and then we're going to put in some sour the sink here and drain them off. Everything's a multi tool when you live in an off grid house. So, <laughs> your cheese grater is also your strainer at times. I do have strainers, but I'm not going to get everything dirty for one little thing. Save a little pasta liquid, right? gonna be interesting. We've got this bubbly. Basically what this is, is cream of mushroom. Uh, mushroom. Cream of morel soup. Yeah. That's basically what we got going on there. Six ounces of sour cream. I mean, we're going big, right? Might as well give it that traditional flavor. Oh, this is going to be a little on the juicy side. <laughs> I'm going to turn it off now. It'll probably soak it up pretty good. Oh, yeah. This is going to soak up all that stuff a little bit later, and it's going to be really, really, really good. Sometimes stroganoff like chili is one of those things if you give it a day's rest or spaghetti even a lot of people eat cold yeah. spaghetti the next day oh, on top. yeah sprinkle a little of that i'm good to go like in a fancy restaurant you put like a few whole leaves of arugula <laughs> <laughs> mm. tastes very um Outdoorsy. Tastes very, <laughs> tastes like wild food. So a little, a little long on the noodles, but I think they'll be fine later. If I would have cooked the noodles less, I would have used a little more sour cream. But I'm gonna try this arugula on it. Looks delicious to me, I'm going in.